हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल एक मैकेन का लेक्चर टूडे आई ब्राउट न्यू अपडेट्स रिगार्डिंग एम टेक एम फार्मा एंड पी एच डी प्रोग्राम एडमिशन फॉर आउट सेमेस्टर टू जीरो टू फोर टू टू फाइव सो इन दिस यू कैन गेट इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट एम टेक एम फार्मा एंड पी एच डी प्रोग्राम एडमिशन फॉर रजिस्ट्रेशन इन जुलाई टू ट्वेंटी फोर सेमेस्टर ऑफ सेशन ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव रिगार्डिंग एम टेक एम फार्मा प्रोग्राम ए कैंडिडेट में अप्लाई फॉर एनी ऑफ द फोर कैटेगरी ऑफ रजिस्ट्रेशन सब्जेक्ट टू फुलफिलमेंट ऑफ रिक्वायरमेंट मिनिमम क्वालिफिकेशन एंड एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया नंबर ऑफ सीट्स अवेलेबल फॉर एम टेक एम फार्मा प्रोग्राम आर गिवेन इन टेबल वन बी ऑफ नेक्चर वन फॉर फुल टाइम रेगुलर रजिस्ट्रेशन कैटेगरी कैंडिडेट हु पजे द रिक्वेस्ट क्वालिफिकेशन एज इंडिकेटेड इन टेबल वन ए ऑफ एक्चर वन आर एलिजिबल फॉर एडमिशन टू पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट प्रोग्राम इन रिस्पेक्टिव डिपार्टमेंट और स्कूल ऑफ इंस्टीट्यूट लीडिंग टू एम टेक एम फार्मा डिग्री कैंडिडेट मस्ट हैव सिक्योर्ड मिनिमम ऑफ सिक्सटी परसेंट मार्क और सिक्सटी जी पी ए इन क्वालिफाइंग डिग्री इन एडिशन दे मस्ट हैव क्वालिफाइड इन गेट फॉर एम टेक प्रोग्राम एंड ग्रेजुएट फार्मेसी एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट फॉर एम फार्मा विद वैलिडिटी not expired means uh, the scorecard must be valid uh Uh, for uh, this uh, full time registration category they have given uh, uh, one note uh, for financial assistant uh, you will get 12400 uh, per month uh, for all mtech m pharma under full time regular registration category and you have to assist 8 uh, hours per week by the department or a school to avail the teaching assistantship the renewal of assistantship is contingent on the student satisfactory performance in the academic program and the discharge of assistantship duty on semester to semester basis फुल टाइम एक्सटर्नल रजिस्ट्रेशन कैटेगरी ए कैंडिडेट वर्किंग इन एनी एक्सटर्नल आर एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन और इन एनी इंडस्ट्री रिकॉग्नाइज बाई द इंस्टीट्यूट विच इज इक्विप्ड विद नेसरी रिसर्च एंड लाइब्रेरी फैसिलिटी मस्ट बी कंसिडर्ड फॉर एम एडमिशन टू एम टेक और एम फार्मा प्रोग्राम प्रोवाइडेड ही सेटिस्फाई द एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया लेट डाउन फॉर प्रोग्राम कंसर्न सच कैंडिडेट मस्ट शो सेटिस्फैक्ट्री परफॉर्मेंस इन इंटरव्यू एंड मस्ट बी स्पॉन्सर्ड बाई हीज और हर इम्प्लाय एंड मस्ट हैव सीन इन एम्प्लॉयमेंट विद स्पॉन्सरिंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन फॉर एटलीस्ट टू ईयर्स एट द टाइम ऑफ एडमिशन सो इन दिस एक्सटर्नल रजिस्ट्रेशन कैटेगरी यू इफ यू आर वर्किंग इन एनी आर एंड डी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन देन दैट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन मस्ट हैव द फैसिलिटी ऑफ रिसर्च एंड लाइब्रेरी Uh, and uh, um, uh, additional uh, addition to that uh, you uh, must have in service from uh, last uh, two years uh, in that organization uh, in this ca external registration category there is no requirement of gate or gpat uh, for the purpose of admission to this uh, pg program now full time sponsored registration category Uh, a candidate who is sponsored by teaching institution or by R and D organization or by any industry is eligible for admission to M Tech M Pharma program, program provided he or she satisfied the eligibility criteria. Means only you have to satisfy eligibility criteria, and uh, there is uh, no requirement of G GATE or GPAT score. Uh, and a sponsoring organization must have to undertake to provide full salary of the candidate and to relieve him or her to to pursue the program for its full duration. Such candidate have to complete the requirement of program by staying on campus for full duration of program. So you can know you are knowing that M Tech is of two years. So if you are, your company or institute is uh, sponsoring you for uh, doing M Tech, then uh, he must provide you full salary uh, during your M Tech or M Pharma, M Pharma, and uh, you have to stay uh, for two years in campus. Uh, another one is part time registration category institute offers uh, part time m tech and m pharma program for permanent staff and faculty members of the institutes as well as uh, research assistant working in any externally funded research pro uh, project running in the institute provided they satisfy eligibility criteria laid down for program concerned 
सच कैंडिडेट हैव टू सबमिट वन एन ओ सी फ्रॉम एच ओ डी और कोऑर्डिनेटर और प्रिंसिपल इन्वेस्टिगेटर एज मे बी एज अपलीकेबल दे हैव टू अटेंड नॉर्मल ड्यूटी असाइन टू देम बाई डिपार्टमेंट और स्कूल और प्रिंसिपल इन्वेस्टिगेटर ऑफ द रिसर्च मीन्स इफ यू आर डूइंग एनी जॉब इन आई टी बी एच यू देन यू कैन अप्लाई इन दिस कैटेगरी एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम योर ड्यूटी इन द डिपार्टमेंट्स uh you also have to attend full uh, like uh, coursework and all these thing you have to do uh now for phd program in this also there are various category like full time regular registration category uh, applicant uh, must have uh, required qualification uh, with minimum uh, marks and cgpa as mentioned below in the discipline concerned or in an allied discipline area A list of allied discipline and research by currently available for PhD program is given in below table. Uh, the number of seats with institute assistantship available for PhD program and discipline is also given. So minimum qualification required. Uh, if you have master degree in engineering, uh, uh, in engineering in any any discipline or in uh, allied uh, discipline area, then you must have sixty percent mark or sixty GPA. Uh, candidate who are applying uh, for phd directly after bachelors then he must have 25% marks or 7.5 cgpa um, at bachelor degree level applicant with more than 2 years of professional experience the minimum requirement shall be 20% marks uh, if you are current pass out then you must have 25% marks and if you have uh, passed yearly to uh, back 2 years and you have experience uh, of like job or any Uh, thing any experience then you uh, you must have 70% marks at bachelor provided the degree from institution funded by ca central government means uh, either central university or iit nit applicants with uh, uh, this master degree in science as an allied discipline or area where science is an allied discipline or area must satisfy uh, minimum 65% mark or 6.5 cgp at masters level and uh, bachelor's level also For PhD in pharmacy, 60% or 60 GPA at master degree level, uh, and if you are applying for PhD directly after B Pharma, then you must have 25% marks, and uh, if you uh, uh, if, and uh, if you have two years of experience, then uh, it will be relaxed, and uh, uh, you have to fulfill 70% marks criteria at bachelor degree, uh, provided that you must have your degree from central universities or central government. college uh phd in science same 60% marks for masters uh, uh, people and if you uh, for bachelor's people in science in any discipline related to science then you must have uh, 75% marks and uh, if you have two years experience and uh, your uh, degree is from uh, central government uh, college or universities then uh, you must have 70% marks for immunity uh, studies same uh, percentage criteria applicable for them also architecture planning and design also same interdisciplinary program also there are phd in system engineering industrial management biochemical engineering uh, biomedical material science and technology like that financial assistant uh, financial assistant in the form of institute assistantship is available to the students admitted to phd uh, program uh, in this you will get assistantship uh, currently it is 37000 and 42000 you will get that from ministry of education as uh, institute assistantship and uh, you must have qualified gate or gpat there is no uh, like word valid if you have uh, done your mtech uh, with gate score then uh, that can be considered Uh, this is uh, these all things uh, which are important. I am only uh, mentioning that admission of candidate having national level a scholarship means if you have uh, the UGC, CSIR, NET, uh, JRF, or SRF. Uh, conducted by UGC or CSIR, Department of Biotech or ICMR or DST Inspire Fellowship or Dr. K. S. Krishnan Fellowship of Department of uh, Atomic Energy, then also you can apply. Uh, admission for candidate who come through QIP program. Uh, now this uh, IIT BHU is now recognized as major QIP center of AICT for research in non-discipline available for de uh, detailed procedure. Applicant should contact AICT. Uh, second category full time external registration category 
uh, did, uh, yeah then that all thing mentioned uh, financial assistant then uh, admission of candidate having national level scholarship qip now fill time ex external registration uh, category uh, any candidate who is uh, working in any external r d organization and that organization have the facility of research and library then uh, he can apply for phd uh, such candidate must show satisfactory performance in interview and uh, must be sponsored by his or her employer and have in employment with the sponsoring or organization for at least two years uh, employee, employer means company must undertake to pay full salary to the candidate and rely him or her from the duty to enable the candidate to stay on the campus and complete the coursework requirement. This is not requirement, uh, not a requirement for candidate who are working in organization located within distance of 50 km. Means if you are residing within 50 km, then uh, there is no requirement of relieving uh, the candidate uh, from the company. Uh, you can. Uh, do up and on uh, to attend the coursework. Uh, now full time sponsored registration category and this also candidate who is sponsored by teaching institution or by R&D organization or by industry can also apply uh, in this category provided he must satisfy eligibility criteria of uh, qualification and he must have in service of, uh, of the sponsoring institution or organization for at least two years at the time of admission. Uh, now these are part time registration category in this only you have to fulfill uh, that uh, qualification criteria means percentage and uh, uh, like uh, uh, the institute offers part time PhD program for permanent staff and faculty members of the institute as well as research assistant JRF SRF working in any externally funded research project. Uh, institute offers part-time PhD program also to professionally employed person who pursue the program while continuing his or her duty uh, provided the sponsoring institute are located within 50 km from the institute and engage in broad area of PhD program you must be regular employee of a sponsoring organization for at least two years means if you are working nearly uh, nearby about uh, 50 km then also you can apply in uh, this category part-time now uh, selection criteria for uh, mtech m pharma program uh, the selection will be decided on get a score and interview for phd programs uh, uh, also uh, you will be selected based on written test interview and get a score like that all these things uh, presentation all these things uh, that will be considered uh, now these all are uh, not so important these are given uh, yeah, means individual department by uh, qualification criteria given required qualification for mtech in pharma you can uh, take a screenshot also it's not uh, possible to mention each and everything uh, for uh, the, these are some interdisciplinary program also Now number of seats available uh, for MTech in Pharma, they, are, they have given. These are uh, PhD program and some allied discipline, interdisciplinary area also. You can take a screenshot. Now below this uh, you can get the seat matrix for PhD. Uh, yeah, uh, these are uh, some discipline by research area for PhD program for ceramic you can get different research area uh, during uh, application form uh, you can uh, uh, they will ask you what are the research area you will select so better you will select uh, which in which you have uh, done your mtech uh, or you can uh, take some uh, other areas also in which you have some interest so these are some research areas uh, they have given now this is the seat matrix 
फोर इंस्टीट्यूट असिस्टेंटशिप फोर पी एच डी आर्किटेक्टर प्लानिंग टोटल फोर बायो केमिकल सेवन बायोमेडिकल सेवन सिरामिक टूल्व केमिकल थर्टी वन केमिस्ट्री इलेवन सिविल ट्वेंटी फोर कंप्यूटर साइंस थर्टीन इलेक्ट्रिकल फिफ्टीन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स ट्वेंटी नाइन ह्यूमनिटी एंड सोशल साइंस टू मटेरियल साइंस इलेवन मैथमेटिकल साइंस थर्टीन मैकेनिकल ट्वेंटी मेटोलॉजी सिक्सटीन माइनिंग नाइनटीन फार्मास्यूटिकल इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी ट्वेंटी वन फिजिक्स सिक्स सिस्टम इंजीनियरिंग वन एंड टोटल टू सिक्सटी फाइव सीट्स आर देयर नाउ इंपॉर्टेंट डेट्स आई थिंक दे हैव नॉट given you can get uh, that uh, from i think uh, in first uh, no here they have not given uh, you can see here uh, the online portal is available for submission of application from 18th march and last will be on 5th of april at 5 o'clock so before 5 o'clock you have to apply after that it will be closed Uh, you have to first register, then uh, create user ID password. Uh, after that, uh, you can log in. After login, you fill all the details, select the program, fill personal information, and upload your photograph signature. Fill in the COAP registration ID for MTech full time in regular category. Uh, details of gate, GPAT, everything you have to fill. Fill in the referee details only for PAD program. Fill in publication details only for PAD programs. So these all things uh, you have to do. Uh, so that's all about today's update. Uh, subscribe my channel if you are visiting my channel first time. I will upload the link in description box by which link you can apply. Uh, thank you. Have a nice day.